Hi, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Design tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how I made this texture look on these objects. So um, we're going to be talking about that right after this. Okay, so how I did that is I went online and got some brushes. There's different brushes you can get, and I actually go to the Pixel Persona to get on my brushes. So I go here to brushes, and uh, it's the Frank and Ton Texturizer Pro Sample. So this is just a sample. You can buy the full um, of what he has. I'm going to put a link in the description for these brushes that I downloaded for free so that you can um, do the same type of texture I do here. Okay, so then I grab my paintbrush and you can adjust the settings up here as you wish. I'm going to click hardness up to 100% and um, turn the opacity down a bit so that when you start painting it starts um, doing a bunch of random texture. It's a very random, it's a brush that sort of randomizes the dots and things. Um, so that's what it does. And I sort of turn down the opacity. You can turn up the opacity to make it totally white. And uh, so you can do texture that way. And you sort of make blotches or something like that. And uh, there's different brushes here you can use, which is sort of cool. Um, so then you can, and then up here you can go to color to change the color and opacity here. So this is just really simple. I'm just, this tutorial is basically just to show you how I created that textured effect on these play, stop, and pause symbols. You can click on the little thing that pop pops up at the top and we'll show you um, the tutorial that I used these things in. But um, I just today I just wanted to show you how to create that textured look and where to get the brushes. Thanks for watching and I hope you will subscribe and like my video. Thanks.